Hi, in this video we're going to take you through the simple steps of changing the spindle in the DG Shape DWX 53DC. The expected lifespan of the spindle is 2000 hours, however with regular maintenance, cleaning, using the recommended tools, materials and strategies, you could benefit from a much higher lifespan, which would lower your unit production cost considerably. Turn on the machine. In vPanel, click on Machine Settings, also known as the Maintenance tab. Then click on Maintenance, then Spindle Replacement. The machine has now moved to a position where we can access the spindle, so let's open up the cover and remove the spindle. Loosen the three screws, slide the plate up, turn it to one side, and then take out. So now we can see the spindle and access all the screws. We're going to use our 2.5 millimeter hex key that the machine comes with. First of all, remove the air line from the air fitting on the nozzle. Loosen the two screws on the air nozzle. The screws are not removed completely from the nozzle as they have captive washers on the other side. So move it out of the way, allowing us to access the spindle. Using the same hex driver, loosen three screws holding the spindle motor. Each screw only needs to be turned about one revolution. With your left hand, push the spindle motor away. With your right hand, remove the belt. Take a cloth or paper towel and place it under the spindle to catch any screws that might fall. Using the 2.5 millimeter hex key, remove the four screws holding the spindle in place. Before we remove the spindle, take note of the small conductive plate above this surface. Make sure not to damage it when removing the spindle. Hold on to the belt and the spindle and just pull straight towards you. This is the box that the new spindle comes in. All the information from this video is available here. The spindle unit and the belt are supplied. The spindle unit has a dummy pin installed. You will also need a 2.5mm hex key that comes with the machine. And you may also need an L-shape 2.5mm hex key if you need to adjust the conductive plate on top of the spindle. There are two holes at the back of the spindle that the two pins inside the machine locate into. So when putting the spindle into the machine, be careful not to touch the conductive plate and then line up those pins with those holes. Push the spindle all the way to the back to make sure it's fully seated. Reinsert the four screws that hold the spindle into place. With the 2.5 millimeter hex key, tighten the four screws. Tighten the screws in a diagonal pattern and be careful not to over tighten. Next, we install the belt. When doing so, make sure that the white line is visible on the outside. Put the belt over the top of the spindle first, then push the spindle motor away from you and put the belt over the motor pulley. Turn the motor a few times to align the belt. Then take your 2.5 millimeter hex key and tighten three screws holding the spindle motor in place. The conductive plate on the top of the spindle should not be contacting the spindle. There should be about a 0.7 millimeter gap. For reference, a normal credit card is about 0.8 millimeters, so this gap should be a little bit less than a normal credit card. If you do need to adjust this gap, you can loosen the two screws with a 2.5 millimeter L-shape hex key. 
adjust the plate until the gap is correct and then tighten the two screws back up. With the air nozzle reinstalled, remove the cloth and replace the cover and then tighten the three thumb screws. Close the cover and turn the machine on. In V panel, click on machine settings, also known as the maintenance tab. Then click on maintenance, then reset, then OK. This resets the work time to zero hours, so you can accurately track the working hours of the new spindle. Next, click on spindle run-in, then OK. In reality, spindle run-in normally takes 30 to 35 minutes. It starts at 6,000 RPM and gradually ramps up to 30,000 RPM, so you will gradually hear the tone change. After the spindle run-in is complete, please run the automatic correction. After that, the machine will be ready to use. Automatic correction will be covered in a separate video. Thank you.